Okay, I'm not that angry that I got fired this time, but I've been fired over 50 times. It's ridiculous. So let's get to the point on to what happened. I have nothing to say about that muscular person, who wanted to order a cheeseburger and a lot of other fried foods, but that fucking Patrick, was so annoying. He didn't even bother to order anything at all. He just annoyed me with his stupid oaths, and his I don't know crap. And that purple guy, what can I say about him? How did he even hear me rage out like crazy? He lives nowhere near me. He also said I need help. Oh shut the fuck up, I'm fine. And that karate fighter was also annoying. And that girl who forced me to kiss another guy was my boss. That to this day still haunts me. But now, let's just go with the flow, as I said it before. This is the 51st time I've been fired. Where should I work next? I know. I'll go work at Eggies. Welcome to Eggies. How may I help you? I would to get the BBQ chicken sandwich with a medium sprite. Wait, hang on. Before we give you your food, you're going to have off your helmet. You're going to have a hard time eating your food with it on. Sorry, but I can't take it off. What? Why can't you? What are you hiding, kid? Please just take off your helmet, it's not that hard. Sorry, but I simply just can't. Kid, I'm not gonna give you your food until you take that helmet off. What are you hiding that you don't want no one to see? It is your hair. What's the reason? There's no reason, but I still can't take it off. Then that means I'm not giving you shit. I'll force that helmet off you if you don't take it off. That makes you a bad employee. Plus, you won't do nothing because I wear this helmet every day, and I never am taking it off. Listen, you can just get out of here since I rather not hear about your ship coward. He acts all mean all the time. You don't see that every day, kids. Hey! Don't break the fourth wall. Welcome to Emmy's. How may I help you? I want to get 30 roast beef sandwiches, please. Whoa. You don't need that much sandwiches. That is way too many, you won't be able to finish them all. I have to actually. I was sent here and I was told to get 30 roast sandwiches. Whoever sent you here is being an idiot. What is the reason you have to order 30 roast beef sandwiches? This is for a class field trip. It's for all my students. Since it's pretty far away, I have to get enough for all my students. I'm not about to give you that much, because that's still too many. Also, the sandwiches are going to go bad if they are left out all day. They wouldn't even taste fresh. They will look like they've been uncut for days. Um, hello? There's this thing called a refrigerator that makes food stay fresh and will never spoil. How do you not know that? That doesn't prove and explain about you ordering this much. I know what a fucking refrigerator is by the way, I'm not fucking stupid. Well, you don't seem to do, because you claimed the food would spoil if it was left out all day, so that why they would stay in the fridge so none of that sandwiches would spoil. Well I'm still not giving you your order. Get out of this place now. You're such a bad employee. Now I'll have to drive to another Arby's to get the food for my students, no thanks to you. Welcome to Emmy's. How may I help you? I would like to get some buffalo sliders please. I'll get a crispy chicken sandwich. I will like to get a roast beef sandwich with curly fries. And I'll get a roast beef sandwich with curly fries also. Hold everything. What I am seeing is a chihuahua, a ferret, a cow, and a dog. None of those animals eat sandwiches and fries. I'm questioning on how animals like you can eat this type of food. This logic does not make sense. Um, sir, you see, there is this thing called- Nope. Shut your trap, you chihuahua. I have heard this way too much, and that excuse will not work. Then what was the point, even to question that? I just don't understand how animals can eat fast food, usually they only eat plants mainly. So that's why I am not serving you, because you're animals, which don't eat, this type of stuff. I think it's best if you stop questioning us about the logic you hate in front of us. All of that stuff you said shouldn't matter and you should just try to live with it. Actually, better yet, how about no? You guys get your asses out of this restarter and now. And I mean it. Whatever, you have a way ahead of a mind of a bad mood, and we hope we don't encounter you again. Welcome to Eddie's. How may I help you? Wait a minute. 
Aren't you that same guy who worked at Panera Bread? No, I'm not. Never seen you before. You're not lying to me, are you? I'm telling the truth. Are you really sure? Are you sure you aren't that guy I met nearly about a few months ago? No, I'm not. That was a different person. Just kidding. I already knew you were that same guy that worked at Panera Bread because when you were an employee at Panera Bread, you were being mean to the customers. Fine, you got me there. Are you going to get anything here? Not after you were rude to me at your recent job, so I don't see me trying you again. I am just going to a different Arby's. Welcome to Arby's. How may I help you? I would like to get two roast beef sandwiches, please. Wait, is that your baby? To this day, I don't like being near babies. But what does that have to do with my baby? He hasn't done any harm. Well, when I once had a job at McDonald's, a talking baby all of a sudden starts saying cuss words when he walks right in, and that scared me and almost costed my job. What? Where did the baby learn those bad words? I'll admit this. I said cuss words out loud and he apparently heard them as I said them. What in the world? So he leered those bad words because you said them out loud. That is a very bad influence. What made you trot him those swear words? Okay, I was mad about a Blue Jay ordering food from McDonald's, and it just made me want to curse. Speaking of cursing, guess what? I'm gonna teach your baby cuss words too. Today, you're gonna hear a lot of new words. Eek 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 eek. No, you're way too young to know those bad words. We're getting out of here. If I see them again, I'll try to teach that baby cuss words. I will. Welcome to Emmy's. How may I help you? Wait a minute. Aren't you Plankton? Yes, yes I am. The one mighty Plankton you're looking at. I know that you're from Spongebob, but I actually like you since you're a troublemaker also. Do you have anything to like prove this place? Well, it's some formula. It is a secret recipe. So what it is about? This here is a special recipe for a special ingredient to make a new food for this place. You and the rest of this company can use this for future great foods. Awesome. We should open it and see what happens. Plankton, stop right there. Come back here with me secret Krabby Patty formula. Oh shit. It's my enemy, Eugene Krabs. Wait, Eugene Krabs? Wait, he was my manager at Regency Gaming. Also, from what I heard, did you steal a formula from him? Um, well, yes, now he's super pissed and now he's about to get. There you are, you give me back me formula. Oh shit, he's approaching fast by Devious Diesel. Plankton, get your ass over here right now, give me back me formula. Devious Diesel, I cannot believe you were rude to the customers. That's it. You're fired. But what about Plankton? I didn't do anything wrong to him. You're right. But you have to be nice to all the customers, not just Plankton. Now please get out of this place.